Hi, my name is Robert Pearman. I'm a small business server MVP and I run the titlerequired.com blog. And in this video, I'm going to talk about checking the Exchange server status with PowerShell. So, the script I'm going to demonstrate is something I wrote to check the health of the services and the mailbox stores. Uh, I wanted to demonstrate why using PowerShell can sometimes be quicker and give you more information than uh, running through the GUI tools. So I'm just going to open up PowerShell and uh, I'll navigate through the file system to the directory where I've got my scripts. And you can see I've got a couple of scripts there. The one I'm looking for is called What's Up With Exchange because uh, it's a question that most people will ask from time to time. So we'll just run that and uh, you can see I've got a banner there saying it's designed for SPS 2011. Uh, do I want to check the exchange services running? Yes, I do. So I'll type Y and press Enter. And you can see a uh, big list of services and obviously the ones that are stopped are written in red. And then we'll say yes, we want to check the mailbox stores. The script will load the exchange snap in. And in a second it will tell us that the mailbox store is mounted. And also very nicely prints out some configuration information about the Exchange server. So just to give us some uh, contrast, what I'm going to do now is just run through manually the GUI and try and get the same information. Um, so I'm loading the services console and obviously I'm scrolling down to find the services that start with Microsoft Exchange and I can check those off one by one, find out which are started and which aren't. And now I can load the Exchange Management console Those of you who've administered Exchange 2010 or SPS 2011 will know it takes a few minutes for this to uh, warm up. But once it has, we can uh, expand the on premises icon and we'll start looking for some information. So we just need to wait for this egg timer to finish loading the Exchange Management Console. And then we'll uh, go ahead and expand the organisation and the mailbox and we'll be able to see that the mailbox store is mounted or dismounted. So you can see it's mounted, so what I'm going to do is dismount that and then uh, we'll go back into my script in a moment and run the tool again and we can contrast the speed and see how fast it is to find out this sort of information from PowerShell. Uh, and I'll also stop this service as well. Just to clear the screen. And we run the script again. And you can see straight away the service information and the exchange build information. So if we just take a closer look at the information on the screen, uh, using PowerShell we've been very quickly able to get all the service information, the status of the mailbox store, and also what I've put in the script is the uh, the Exchange Server build information which might be useful in troubleshooting. Uh, you can see which Exchange Server roles are installed and the operating system version and host name of the system. That's all for this video. Hopefully you've uh, seen a good example of where using PowerShell might be an advantage over using the GUI. In uh, a couple of videos coming up I'm going to talk a bit more about PowerShell and uh, how to create PowerShell scripts.